It's another week of tending the Torah garden. The book of Shmos is all about overcoming adversity. And this week's secret is, you got to own it. A rabbi in New York was about to launch a $10 million building campaign. In front of the entire community, he got up at the pulpit and announced, My friends, I have good news and bad news. The good news is, we already have all the money we need for the project. Everybody started applauding. And the bad news is, that money is in your pocket. Parshas Truma introduces us to the Mishkan, the home for Hashem that the Jews built in the desert. Hashem commands the Jewish people, Ve'yikhuli Truma, bring me contributions, precious metals and beautiful materials, and construct a tabernacle for me. I just don't get it. Is the Almighty God asking us for donations? The whole universe belongs to Him. Liyah Kesef, Zov. All the money in the world is his. He needs us to give him gold, silver, and copper. My wife and I moved out to Sherman Oaks in the summer of 1987. As our first Rosh Hashanah approached, Rabbi Josh Gordon of Blessed Memory called me and said, Moshe, you should make an appeal to your community members, asking them to sponsor the Mahza prayer books needed for the high holidays. I was young, inexperienced, and very shy. And I was very reluctant to make an appeal at that point. When I expressed my doubts to Rabbi Gordon, he said, you don't understand. Make the appeal and watch what happens. Those people who donate the machzers, said Rabbi Gordon, will make sure to attend your services. They'll even come early to make sure those books are there. They'll pick them up, caress them, and from that day on, they will feel part of your community like never before. I did end up making the appeal. And Rabbi Gordon's prophecy came absolutely true. Because when you invest in something, you become a part of it, and it becomes a part of you. Hashem wasn't asking for donations because He needed them. Hashem was asking for donations because He needed us. In order for the Mishkan to have its desired effect, in order for God to feel at home in this world, we couldn't just be spectators. We had to play an active role. When a Jew gave his material possessions to the Mishkan, he or she became a partner. And when you're a partner, you'll make sure the project lasts and is successful. In my opinion, the rabbi in the opening joke made a mistake. The good news is, we have all the money we need. And the better news is, the money is in your pocket. Wishing you and yours a Shabbat Shalom Umivarach.